Hey y'all, so today we are doing a get ready with me. And I use a few new products for my makeup. So if you wanna see how I got this makeup look, just keep watching. All right, so I already did my eyebrows. For moisturizer, I used this Welda. Well, is it Welda? Skin Food, it's like a really thick moisturizer. I've seen um, some girls use it on TikTok. I am gonna use some new products. They're not really new, but they're new to me. Um, first, it's gonna be this Power Grip Primer by e.l.f. And this is Bang Wig, um, so the part is not like a middle part or anything. I just moved the bang out the way with some bobby pins. The foundation I'm using is Dior Backstage and I'm in the shade 4W. I like that this is like a squeezy tube. So I can just squeeze it. This is a lot of foundation. Dang, I use so much. Still, I have two shades of this Born This Way, one in Golden Beige and the other in Vanilla. I just love Born This Way concealer. It blends out so nicely. And I don't like to keep the white like um, concealer mark around my mouth, so I just take the foundation brush just to go back over it. Just to blend it out a little bit. All right, next I'm about to go in with my second shade. I really don't put too much, just enough. And I'm just gonna put it under my eyes, and I'm gonna let this get a little bit of tack, a little bit of. I'm just gonna let this get a little tacky first. I only got my hand on a black opal foundation stick and I got the shade. Mm, how you pronounce this? Car uh, or Carab or something like that. And it's still just a foundation stick and I use it as contour. And I go above my uh, cheekbone now, so. This is just so convenient. Contour. Kind of put too much. All right, now for this concealer under my eye, I'm just gonna take a brush. I don't really know the name of this brush, but I love how dense this brush is. I'm just gonna focus it under my eye. And I like that look with the, it dragged out. I'm gonna, drag it out. I'm gonna take that contour brush to put out the edges. I don't know why my eyes always be getting watery. Sometimes I like dab my brush on a paper towel to get some of it off. Cause I don't know this size seems like it have a lot more on it. A lot more product on it. I get this Patrick Ta blush. She's that girl. I use the cream shade, uh, the cream part. And I'm actually gonna go back in with the brush that I use for my contour. Um, I think that's, 
are those the new like face products that I got? Before I okay. Now before I bake, I'm just using my Patrick Star um foundation. But I got a lighter shade on purpose because I wanted to use it as a under eye press powder. And I'm just taking my Amazon powder puff and just pressing it in. I'm just gonna um put it everywhere. Help the concealer. Now I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Slight bake. I love it right under eye. No, why our nose? Do y'all nose be running when y'all be doing y'all makeup? Why are you over here going through it? Alright, so I'm gonna let this bake for a little bit. And you just stuck standing there, but I'm gonna need some powder on here. First I thought I wasn't gonna like this, but I love it. I am the temper your conversation. This is celebration. I still see the fact that I moved out my mama basement to a condo downtown. Cause it's all about location. This is one of the new products I've been using as well. It's the super stronghold 3D eyelash adhesive adhesive. Why is the title so long? By I Envy. And I, I had, it took me so long to get this off my eyes. My eyes were so red. And I'm like, damn, what do I need to get? A eye glue remover? But this is so convenient. And it's so easy to put on your lashes. So I'm debating if I should just use my old handy dandy hair glue. I'm just gonna, my eyes are so sensitive right now. I don't know why. I'm gonna use this one size spray by Patrick Star as well. The package is so freaking cute. Ooh. I'm gonna also use my Morphe. I don't know why I didn't spray. All right, so I have been using, well, I just tried using a like new eyeliner to go up under my eyes and it's so cute. I love it. This is um, Aussie Beauty brand in the shade Buff Bear. So I'm just gonna do my waterline. Hold on, my eyes been watering like crazy. It just make your eye look so much wider. And now I'm gonna put some bottom my some bottom mascara on, and this is the Essence brand. This is the best mascara. Oh, it's from Amazon. For lip liner, we are using Milani Understatement Lip Liner in the shade uh, Saucy Toffee from Amazon as well. And I've been loving using my MAC lipstick. I'm gonna use Honey Love. It's a pink, like a mauve pink one.
The only thing I hate about lipstick is it really don't get in that part. Cause your mouth is like moist. I'm just not going back in with the liner to add more for the ombre effect or look. Alright, so I'm about to fix my hair, change my clothes, put on my jewelry, and I'm going to be back and show y'all this final look. Taking these bobby pins out in the sun. <laughs> I got them um, brown because the brown wig. Done. So I'm gonna leave these pieces out and do like a ponytail. Oh, this wig don't slide off. I'm pulling it too tight. Over this hair, y'all. Like every hairstyle, this looks good. Do we love it or do we not? pictures and selfies at least try I might need to change my shirt I just got this jacket on <laughs> Alright y'all, right, so this is the final look I just put my hair up into a ponytail and left two of some of the sides out I'm trying to get my vein together because that part is like deep and I didn't really want to like hot comb it or do anything because I'm going for this cute but effortless look so I didn't want to do anything too like structured. So yeah y'all, if y'all did like this video don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see y'all in my next video.